Hello, greetings, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. Come on in here. Today, we will walk through what spirit needs us to know about the new moon in Pisces. I have already blessed my decks of cards. We're going to get started. I decided to go ahead and pull out the... These two cards from the Moonology Oracle Card Guide um, deck, I should say. And I did this intentionally because we want to focus on the new moon, right? So from the Moonology Oracle Cards deck, we have a new start is coming, new moon, right? A new start is coming, new moon. And then we have... Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. New moon in Pisces. Okay? And that's exactly what's going on. On Sunday, March 10th at 5 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. I am on the East Coast. New moon in Pisces will arrive. Okay? So, with the new moon... The new moon is dark. There's not a lot of illumination coming off of the new moon. So that is a sign for us to go within, um, even maybe possibly work with your shadow self, walk through anything that you find undesirable about yourself. This is a time to work on that. New moon also means making new uh, plans manifesting something new the beginnings of manifestations it's a new beginning it's a renewal right a time for transformation with the new moon coming in and we have this new moon in Pisces and of course Pisces is a water sign and with that um it this new moon in Pisces represents emotions and intuition and relationships, okay? So these are the things we could be absolutely concentrating on during the time of the new moon, but also for you to manifest. Write down what it is you want to see come into your life. This is a time. Start now with the new moon, okay? So, again, as we see with this Moonology card, meditate and contemplate New Moon in Pisces. So, it's a time to look for inner guidance, um, almost like a hermit, the hermit in tarot. That's what you can take away. That is a guide for a new moon. And then the New Moon in Pisces is asking us to contemplate as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get some guidance from Spirit using... The Oracle, um, I'm sorry, using our tarot decks, we'll draw some cards and we'll clarify with my other tarot deck. This is the Light Seer's Tarot and the other deck that I will be clarifying with is the Tarot of the Divine. Okay, so I'm so excited that you're here. Drop in the comments, what do you plan to start with this new moon in Pisces? What is it you want to manifest? You, you have... From the time of the new moon to the full moon. Sometimes it could be one full cycle. Sometimes it could take several new and full moons for your plans to come together, for your desires to come to fruition. It's all up to the energy you put into it and the faith you have in what you want to do and what you want to see and what you want to manifest in your life. Okay? So it's definitely a time to start something new. This is like an Ace of Wands moment with this new moon in Pisces, okay? All right, let's see what Spirit needs us to know. Spirit, what do you need us to know right now for this new moon in Pisces upon us? And it's interesting, the new moon is also on the first day of daylight savings time uh, if you recognize 
and participate in daylight savings time in your neck of the woods because not everyone does. All right, let's see what spirit needs us to know. So we have the Knight of Swords energy coming up. <sighs> okay, so what I'm getting from this for our new moon in Pisces, really contemplate your relationships. This is all signs. Uh, this, this tarot and oracle reading for the new moon in Pisces is for all signs. So please take it what resonates with you and leave the rest as I do read intuitively. So what I'm getting from this first card that has been shown to us is Knight of Swords. And I'm getting that you must contemplate over some of the relationships you've been having. Take a look at your relationships, especially the closest ones to you, whether that's in your family or friends that are like family or the relationships on your job. Spirit is asking you to contemplate and evaluate these relationships. We will get clarifiers as we go on. Then we have the justice card, right? For this new moon in Pisces, we have the justice card. Contemplating are your relationships, are they balanced? Is it a is it a good measure of is it a good measure of give and take? Is the relationship reciprocal? Are you giving more than you receive or is it vice versa? Are you taking more than you give? We must look into this. We must contemplate this spirit wants us to evaluate our relationships for fairness, for harmony, for truth, right? Then we have the four of wands. This is, this is beautiful. So with the four of wands, absolutely a time of celebration, a time of enlightenment, you will be able to celebrate your enlightenment from your time spent in soul searching and guidance from inner wisdom during this new moon. Let's get one more. And then the high priestess. Absolutely. Absolutely. The high priestess is showing up in this new moon reading. So there again, being that Pisces is a water sign, that points to um, emotions and intuition. And here we have the high priestess, which is absolutely about intuition. And then there's also mystery. The, the moon brings a sort of mysterious energy. And you also gain that energy. You feel that mysterious energy with the high priestess as well, right? So we're definitely looking at intuition, um, relationships, enlightenment with this new moon. What can we manifest by doing this type of work and looking at these areas of our life, okay? All right, so now we have the Ace of Cups. We're clarifying these cards here. So with the Knight of Swords, excuse me, we have the Ace of Cups, okay? With the Knight of Swords. We're clarifying the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Cups. So this is still pointing back to emotion and relationships and intuition. So here is the beginning. This new moon in Pisces, in Pisces is a beginning for you to create the type of relationships you want in your life, for you to learn how to have a relationship with yourself, being able to trust your intuition because the relationships do have to be evaluated and you definitely need to evaluate the relationship you have with yourself. What are the things you're saying to yourself? Are you being honest with yourself? Are you being overly critical with yourself? Are you kind and compassionate? Do you take time out for real serious and deep self-care, right? All right. 
And then with the Justice card, we are clarifying our Justice card with the Fool. Very interesting, right? We want balance. We want um, fairness in our relationships. We want truth. And then Spirit is showing us the Fool to clarify the Justice card. And it's saying, here's again, here's a new beginning. We have to have a new beginning in our relationships with self, in our relationships with those who are closest to us, how we're treating those we come in contact and, and those who are in our orbit um, more often than not, right? So again, new beginnings, um, just stepping out on faith that you can get your relationships into a space of balance, harmony, um, deep love and compassion, okay? Let's clarify this Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is being clarified with the Three of Swords. And this I find interesting because what I'm feeling is normally we would be celebrating, but at this point it looks like there is a little bit of heartache there. You know, you have this person in the shadow here on this card from the um, Tarot of the Divine. And we were talking about how the moon is somewhat mysterious and so is the high priestess. And then spirit brings out the three of swords for us because there's someone that is not really good for us. And they are, if we're not careful, we will be heartbroken, right? If we're not careful, we could be heartbroken. So it's definitely a time to evaluate and contemplate the relationships we have because we want relationships that elevate us. We want relationships that bring us joy and happiness, right? So there's someone lurking and we have to be aware. Go into meditation and 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 find, tap into your higher self so that you can be aware and you can see things as they're coming towards you and be prepared not to fall into a trap of heartache behind someone who is supposed to be um, close to us, right? We don't want to have any grief. This is a time to give ourselves a clean slate, if you will. Give yourself a clean slate and let's do the work. This is, t it's time to do the work. So with the high priestess, we have the six of coins. We have the six of coins clarifying the high priestess. Okay. And this again is talking about reciprocity. This is talking about reciprocity and that's where the balance with the justice card comes in. It's talking about reciprocity. It's talking about give and take. It's talking about sharing. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Your intuition will share knowledge with you. Your higher self will share the inner wisdom that may be somewhat hidden from you, right? So, you work with your higher self, your higher self will work with you to reveal things to you that are beneficial for you, okay? All right, let's do another shuffle and get some more cards. Spirit, what else do you need the collective to know for this new moon in Pisces? Do tell. All right, now we have the Page of Wands, right? The Page of Wands shows up for us for this new moon in Pisces. And with the Page of Wands, there's excitement and freedom ahead. Um, this is a time, uh, Spirit is telling us, this is a time of exploring. This is a time of learning yourself better. 
when you understand yourself better, you are able to better understand others. And spirit is continuously pointing you inward, which is exactly what a new moon is for. Okay. Then we have the six of pentacles again. We are reminded again about the give and take, the fairness of it all. Trying to be as fair as possible, remembering we are human beings. We will make mistakes. But being able to be in a community of people who share a heart like you do, who are making sure that they give as much as they take, and we're being reminded of that yet again okay and then we have the queen of swords with the queen of swords coming with this new moon and contemplation and uh inner wisdom and self soul guidance we get the queen of swords very interesting queen of swords because what the queen of swords represents is clarity the queen of swords represents focus the queen of swords is cutting through the malarkey, so to speak, right? The Queen of Swords gets a vision, right, High Priestess? The Queen of Swords is able to um, see things coming. The Queen of Swords is very perceptive. And when you get in tune with your higher self and you start to work with your inner wisdom, you become very perceptive of what's in front of you, right? It's almost like deja vu. Like, did I just go through that? It kind of can feel like what we believe is deja vu. But that is like a, a precognition, if you will, right? So working with your angels, spirit guides, ancestors, and higher self, seeking that inner wisdom for enlightenment and transformation of your relationships with self, self and others, the Queen of Swords, this is showing us that we are on our way. As a collective, we are on our way to seeing clearly uh, with focus and perceiving things before they even get near us. All right. And then we have the lovers showing up in this reading, in this new moon in Pisces reading. Okay. Again, pointing to relationships. Again, pointing to harmony. This whole reading, beloved ones, is about relationships. It's about harmony. It's about balance. It's about reciprocity. Starting anew and with a clean slate and manifesting the relationships that you desire to have in your life. Okay. With the Page of Swords, we have the Page of Cups. Very interesting. Again, Page of Cups energy is intuition. There's a sensitivity about you. And that sensitivity is not a weakness. It is a superpower for you, okay? With the Page of Wands, it's being clarified with the Page of Cups. So with the Page of Wands... Spirit is showing you to learn more about yourself. Learn more about yourself so that you are better able to understand yourself. In turn, better able to understand others. And then being clarified with the Page of Cups, that work you do will only heighten your intuition, right? It will only better serve you to know again what is in front of you with this queen of swords okay with the six of pentacles we have the page of swords okay the six of pentacles is being clarified by the page of swords and this is a new idea right you have a brand new perspective. Again, I'm still getting that Queen of Swords energy, even with this Page of Swords, because you're on your way to Queen of Swords energy at the Page of Swords placement, right? You're, you're getting a better understanding. You have 
a new idea of your own identity and how you operate and experience life for yourself and life with others. And that's this is clarifying the Six of Pentacles, showing you a new way to be in relation with others. Okay? This is a new way to communicate with others. This is a new way of thinking. Okay? That's this whole reciprocity. You think about that differently. You think about how much am I actually giving and how much am I actually receiving? It won't always be 50-50, but when everyone's doing the work, it all balances out. It's all harmonious, right? Clarifying the Queen of Swords, you have the Star card, okay? You have the Star card to clarify the Queen of Swords. You are hopeful at this time of the new moon in Pisces. You're hopeful about a change you want to see, right? You're hopeful about new beginnings. I feel because this is so heavily weighted on relationships, you could even be hopeful about repairing a relationship that might have recently been strained or there have been some tension there. You're definitely hopeful. And the Queen of Swords is going to help you to understand how do you get back to a place of doing relationship well with this person where everything is more openly communicated. So there are less misunderstandings. Um, there is more respect. There is more love and harmony. The Queen of Swords is going to bring you to a place for that to come to fruition. All right. Clarifying the lovers, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. A lot of... Um, I feel like there's everything in this reading. Where is my phone? Okay. I don't know where my phone is, but... Because I thought I heard it going off. I do apologize. Squirrel. So we have the Ace of Wands clarifying the lovers, right? So this is definitely a lot of energy clarifying your relationships. You will, again, have a new way of thinking about how you do relationship from day to day with the people that are very important to you, right? So the Ace of Wands is telling you, begin again, be inspired and desire the relationships you want to see. What you desire, what you want to manifest for this new moon in Pisces, you should absolutely be writing it down. You, you get out your journal or a regular notebook or a piece of copy paper. And you write down what it is that you absolutely love about your current relationships. And then you start to write down what it is you want to see transform in your relationships. And you start to write the detail with the name and the name of these people and how you want to be able to relate to them and, and what you want to be able to give to them and what you want to be able to receive from them. Write it down. Manifest the relationships of your desire, whether they, they are romantic relationships or just platonic relationships, familial relationships. Um, it's important during this time of going within contemplation, right? A new start is coming. There's a new start here for the way you do relationship in your life and who you do relationship with. Because let's get real. When you start to do this work and you are truly, truly committed to it, the people that are not healthy for you will begin to fall away. It will be nothing of your force. It will simply be your energy. They will begin to fall away because you are transforming how you do relationships. You will be able to say, 
um, these are my boundaries. This is what I will accept. And I'm holding the line, right? That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. There is so much going on here. Um, I mean, you've got Libra. Of course, this is a new moon in Pisces. So, of course, we have Pisces here. We have Libra. Um, we have some Gemini in this reading as well. What else do I get? This is exciting. I definitely, I definitely feel like there is more. All right, I'm going to, what am I going to go for? I'm going to go for the Rose Oracle to find out what else Spirit needs us to know. Spirit, what do you need the collective to know for this new moon in Pisces? And the work that we are going to do concerning our relationships, improving our relationships. Do tell, Spirit. All right, release the petals. Wow, spirit is, oh, don't drop these. Spirit is super timely. Release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding, all change. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Release the petals, transformation, death and rebirth, shedding, all change. Spirit is talking to us right now about our relationships. There is a major collective energy where, and we can see it in the world today. We can see how poorly our relationships are handled and managed. All you have to do is turn on the news. You know, that's a world stage, right? Watching the news is a world stage. But that is a huge indication of how individual relationships are going on this planet right now. And Spirit is telling us, transform. Let the old things die. Let the old things fall away. Be reborn. Everything must change. The way we relate to one another Spirit is telling us the way we relate to one another has to change in order for this planet, for our species to flourish and thrive. And we all can do something about it, starting with our own personal relationships. We can absolutely make the difference in our own homes, on our own block, in our own neighborhood and community. And the ripple effect just keeps going. And if we're all doing this as individuals on a collective level, can you imagine the shift of this planet? Shedding, all things must change. Let's do the work, good people. Spirit is pointing us in a direction and spirit does not lead us wrong. This is all for our enlightenment, for our illumination, for, our, for us to be inspired to be better to one another, okay? This has been beautiful. I hope this has resonated with you and you found it useful and you decide to do the work for this new moon in Pisces. Write it down. Be specific. As many pages as you need to write, write it down. Be specific. I truly appreciate you for watching the video. Do the work. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have. I appreciate you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.